Jack, it's it's a test against Northampton, a side who I imagine you're quite familiar with, having played them just ten days ago. Yeah, it's obviously it's obviously the kind of games that come thick and fast, and obviously we came up against them twice so close. Um, obviously, I think the 0-0 no -no result probably goes well because it's, there's not many mind games that we can go into. So uh, it's a fresh game, like you said, Exeter's passed as well. So full focus on Saturday. And that exits the game back to not quite your best, but certainly a, a good bounce back from the Port Vale defeat, wasn't it? Yeah, obviously Port Vale was a tough one to take. Uh, two goals in the first like 10 minutes was obviously tough, but obviously Saturday I think Exeter are a tough place to go and obviously in a way down the season it could be a good point. So um, yeah, it's not too bad. But a little bit disappointed to not come away with a goal? Yeah, it's, yeah, more that I watch it back, it was a clear tap and obviously players like me just dream of goals like that, uh, tappings at the back. So. But now nah, it's something that we can work on down the season and I'm sure it won't happen again. And going into the Northampton game, the, I suppose the knowledge that both sides have of each other, it, it, does it make it a little bit more of a chess match? Yeah, definitely. I think obviously the the game a couple of days ago, uh, 10 days ago, whatever it was, um, that both teams you could tell that it didn't really like to go for it. Um, so yeah, I think it was, it'll be a good game on Saturday. Hopefully we've been working well and I'm sure they've probably been working well, so it'll be a good test. And fully aware, obviously, that they're a good side, not just based on the knowledge they were relegated from League One last season, mm. but based on some of the results they've already picked up. Yeah, definitely. I think they're fifth in the league. Um, obviously, I think every game in this league is obviously tough, and I think they sometimes they can bring some different. That I think they've got a lot of good players that they bring in. Obviously, they all League One last season, so obviously they're not not any role of a team that we just need to be fu fully focused, play our own game, and I'm sure if we play our own game, we'll hopefully get three points. And how have you found your, your return for a second loan spell at Forest Green? Yeah, it's been good. Obviously, coming in, seeing some old faces, it's been good. I think the, the coaching staff has been brilliant as well. Uh, it's been fresh ideas, and I think all the, you can tell by other boys that every day everybody's happy coming in and working hard, and everybody's got full focus to hopefully. The main aim is to get promoted at the end of the season. I think everybody's on the, the right track for that. And, and as you mentioned there, the atmosphere at the training ground, it, it re and, and I suppose on a match day as well, it, it really is quite special, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think everybody's just kind of cl clicking together. Um, everybody's happy. If you're, even if you're not playing, you're still, you feel, still feel a big part of the team. Uh, all the boys make you feel welcome. and Yeah, it's just a, a good group and um, yeah, fairly focused. And is that credit, at least in part, to the atmosphere that Rob and Richie have created? Yeah, definitely. I think, like I said there, uh, I think they've bring in fresh ideas and obviously they're both like still so young as well. They bring fresh ideas and get all the boys together and they're great. Obviously, man managers as well that sometimes you can feel left out, but here you don't and you feel part of it and you always get a part of the game or whatever it is. So yeah, you just need to trust trust them. And, and you mentioned when you, when you first joined us back in the, in the summer that you would had a bit of a tough season last year. I have to say, it's nice to see you back out there playing with a smile on your face. Yeah, definitely. Last season was very tough, like just not on the pitch but off it as well. Uh, just some circumstances that I went through. But obviously this year it's been like um, completely different, but it's just the start. I just need to keep working hard and I think when I play with a smile on my face, that's that, that's when I come out the best. So I just need to keep, keep doing what I've been doing and enjoying it. And obviously you got that goal against Brentford, which I imagine was, was quite a special moment. But I'm, I'm sure it won't be long now until yeah. we get a, a first league goal back from Jack Aitchison. Yeah, definitely. It's been obviously it's been tough. Obviously, I didn't. I came on the first couple of league matches, but I didn't actually start. Um, but now I, th I think I've been doing not too bad. I've been doing a lot of work on the pitch uh, after training as well, uh, looking at clips with obviously Richie and the gaffer, and yeah, just hopefully I can keep improving. And that's that's why I came here and just enjoying it and obviously now very much an attacking midfield player as opposed to maybe when we had mm -hmm. you two years ago there was maybe a little bit of uncertainty about um, I, I suppose where was your best position mm -hmm. as an attacking midfielder now the big question goal or assist uh, <laughs> I, I like a goal but I get the most most joy out, out an assist uh, especially if you do something good then you just lay it on a tee for somebody else to roll in I, I just get a, sp a special feeling for that and uh, but anything to help the team goal and assist so I don't mind sharing so, his care yeah, is, yeah, is, that, is yeah. that what you live by that's then? it sharing his care and hopefully they can return the favour